Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome to the Great Plague Exodius. This is a new game the developer just sent out to me, released just today, that all of you guys can go out on Steam and pick up now. It looks like it's going to be a really fun game. This is one of those text-based story games uh, that you click through each different phase and depending on how um, the, you make your decisions, progresses on how the story is going to go. Now, there are multiple different characters, there's multiple different paths and everything in this game, so there's a lot to it. This is a really beefy game, and I would tell all you guys to go out and give it a try. So, here we go. We're going to start a new game today. We're going to go and save slot one, uh, and here we are. You were born a short time before the English Civil War into the great city of London. Your family was a reason... was... Uh, of reasonable means, able to send you into a number of middle-class professions. When you came, uh, time for you to strike out in the world, your father chose to make you apprentice too. Um, this is about the Black Plague. So I'm gonna do an apothecary. Uh, England faced uncertain times when you were a boy and your father knew that those, uh, that carry a needle, uh, don't need a spear. You went to long days learning about the modern medicine, rebalancing humors, applying leeches, and grinding powder into the night. Years later, you were recognized as a master who set up your own apothecary in London. Fetch me leech. Having settled into a routine of working, coming home, and then working again, you thought it was high time to find yourself a wife. Besides, your mother kept asking, what better reason for you to need than what do you choose? A wealthy widower, a former master's daughter, the Buxton Barmaid. I'm going to go with a former master's daughter. That sounds something uh, like it could work. I'm also right in the way of the text. Now I'm not. Okay. Who's to say the fondness has grown between your children uh, as your children often do, or if it was calculated arrangement based on particular economics and proximity. Uh, that's just love in 1665. No matter, your arrangement was productive, as you soon discovered you were expecting another worker, I mean, a child. Woo! Imagine how much we'll save. A son. Your excitement for the birth of a uh, christening to the first steps began to fade about the time he started speaking. It takes several more years before you decide it's time he's earned his keep. Um, sending him to the actors, let him enjoy life a little more working with me. I'm going to go with working with me because that only sounds natural. It's, oh, wow. It's only natural for your firstborn should follow into your trade. Starting out, he'll, he is all thumbs and elbows, constantly in the way and looking for even the smallest thing to do uh, with time he starts to handle what you do. It's in his blood. How to, um, beat plague. Oh, okay. Uh, before long, you were blessed with another mouth to feed. This time it's a girl. You began saving a dowry right away, but it couldn't hurt if she was taught, uh, the feminine art of... Um... I want her to be able to balance the budget, because if she can balance a budget, that means she probably has a bunch of money, but thinking about the survival aspect of the game, maybe I should go with the cooking. Uh, music... Musically looks like it's gonna be fun. And we could probably marry her off to somebody that's wealthy with that skill. But I'm going to go with cooking just because of the survival aspect. I really wanted her to be, like, smart, but for the survival aspect of the game, we'll go with that. She quickly takes to life in the kitchen with her mother. The family dinner soon becomes a feast, and guests are always shocked as the number as well variety of courses. What an investment. The first rumblings of plague came from Holland, apparently an outbreak on a ship of the Levant. Not a week later, the searchers were... Uh, of death reported the plague in London. A month later, entire streets were being boarded up. By July, even the king had fled the city, which uh, is when you knew you must go. Uh, we must gather, we must buy supplies. We must gather our valuables. Buy supplies, gather our valuables. Valuables I could sell later on, so let's gather valuables. Uh, you gripped up uh, with what you need to find anything of value that might help on the road ahead. Your wife begged you to keep the ring, but even that is an extravagance that you might not need for your long like keep. You loaded up your heirlooms uh, for the journey ahead. This should buy us some time. With your bags packed and saddled, your family all gathered as you take one last look at your life you're leaving behind. There's no knowing what lies ahead on the Great North Road, but you must uh, now choose which path you take. The direct road costs 50, I believe that's coins, in taxes while the country roads are uh, longer but free. Uh, I don't know how much coins I have, so I'm going to go with the country. Before you begin your journey, you must first deal with the most important aspect of traveling, bureaucracy, a as Certificate of Good Health signed by the Lord Mayor, or anyone wishing to refer themselves as the Lord Mayor. Off we go. Certificate of Good Health. Surname. Uh, man of the family. 
Sim. Uh, let's get this filled out. Okay, there we go. Certificate of good health done. Uh, we are the Alot family. Man of the family, Sim. Uh, wife of the family, uh, <laughs> my lady. My lady a lot. <laughs> Eldest son, little Sim. So actually, I'm going to do my lady Sim. There we go. And little lady Sim, soul daughter. All right, sign. Yay, certificate of good health. And off we go. We're at walking speed. Okay. This is your food. When in cities, you'll automatically buy more food if you have enough money. Otherwise, you'll uh, begin to starve. Continue. Uh, click here to view your inventory. Items can be sold, consumed, or as uh, or used as part of daily activities. Uh, money will be essential on your journey. Work, beg, uh, busk, or and sell. It can be used for food or better housing. Uh, this shows the current date and the seasons. This button will also end uh, when or end a turn when in a city, uh, committing your family to activities. Continue. Uh, this displays the current plague level in a city. High numbers means more risk of infection and better pay and cheaper goods. Continue. Uh, this will reveal your family's, uh, their health, uh, the red bad and the morale green bar. Okay, continue. In a city interact button will allow you to set their daily activities, which will vary between characters. You can also give them medicine for their health and entertainment for their morale. This is the settings button. Uh, this button sets your family's pace. A faster pace increases the chance of injury and wears down morale. The sun begins uh, to set as you first look on the shelter. There is a nearby cabin which you approach to search um, of a well which you suddenly notice has been abandoned. Um, stay here. The cabin is mostly uh, well kept with only small holes in the roof. You settle the tent. You settle the tent inside anyway and begin the fire. It's nice to be settled indoors once more, although it only lasts for a short while. Cozy. All right, cool. Off we go. Let's see. How's everybody doing? Um, everybody's health seems to be okay at the moment. This apparently is me. I don't know why I look like that. Um, Lady Sim, nice. Uh, little Sim and little late my little my little Lady Sim over here, all as well. Uh, everybody seems to be getting slightly hungry. I'm gonna go ahead and close that up, and we're off to a walk-in. <clears throat> they say you only missed two meals away from chaos. Uh, now you can see why your stomach grumbles with ferocity. You have never known uh, before, and every and every thought is of food. As you look to your children and feel only failure. Uh, you care little of how you get it. Uh, trade it for an earring. Well, what do I have? I have an earring, silk handkerchief, a Bible, a brooch, and a ring. Um, I'm going to buy some food. Your desperate position uh, does you no help in bartering. Luckily, you find a few people willing to rip you off before you started searching through the sewage. Uh, better be fed than be rich. Well, we're coming up on Anchorberry. During one of the many breaks from walking, you sat on a tree stump when you noticed a nearby bush of ripe, vibrant berries. Vibrant red berries. Um, Looks delicious. You pick a few berries and then pop them in your mouth. It was when you realized you made a mistake. The berries, uh, bitter taste warned you the intentions not before you had swallowed a couple. You spent the next day fertilizing said bushes. Oh, God, no. Let me see. What's my health? Oh, lordy. My health is way down. We, we fertilize them bushes, though. All right. You say you only missed two bales away from chaos. Uh, trade it for a silk handkerchief. People seem to sense the uh, wild hunger in your eyes to show the silk handkerchief. It does not take long for someone to send the opportunity to trade you for a meager amount of food supplies. As long as we can eat again. Oh, God. That was only five. All right. Interact. Let's see. Health is low. Entertainment... Cockfight, nice. Drinking, cards, shopping. Uh, well, you need to rest. Medicine. I don't have any medicine. Uh, roll unemployed. Risk low. Pay plus zero. Search for work. Close. Lady Sim, interact. I want you to entertain the family. Close. You, Lil Sam, I want you to search for work, clothes, and my lady Sim, I want you cooking. I hope that all of that works. Residence. Um 
decent six. A small upgrade from the streets and cramped conditions can bring out uh, the worst in people, but at least it's warm. A large room at a local ale house with acceptable beds, comfortable, but a little loud. And the Well, let's do the comfortable one. I think that's like 11. Market. Um, let's see, a vial of vinegar. This is medicine. Bought a little bit of food. And... Okay, how do I end it? Shoeshine pay to... Oh, this is Little Sim's job. Uh, Shepherd seeking replacement for after wolf incident. Uh, plenty of work for the child with the right attitude. For those able to be seen, not heard. Um, I'm going to make Little Sim a shoe shiner. Uh, cord on the cob. Awesome. He's a cobbler. Interact. Search for work. Close. Interact. Work. Let's uh, end this day, too. Um, end this day. Okay, so looks like I have some jobs here. Grave digger. There seems to be no shortage of souls and rest like these. Apply for that job. Uh, interact with you. Work. Close. Instead of doing cooking, I want you to do some begging because we need money because we only have one. And you are entertaining the family. So everybody's food is up. And end day. Lately, your mind wanders towards your brother who decided to stay behind in London with his family. You think about writing him a letter to see how he is. I can't afford it. Of course, you wonder how your brother is. He's one who refused to join you when you fled. Nonetheless, you can't afford to go out finding other people's problems right now. So I wonder. End day. We're making up some food here. All is good. Everybody's happy. I'm going to go to the market. Ooh, a mask. Would really like to get that. And a fishing rod. I would really, really like to get that. But I just don't have that right now. Um, end the day, 11, oof, end the day, 6, end the day, 0, are you not working anymore? Gravedigger high, plus 10, interact, risk, medium, shoe shine. um, let's do, uh, everybody seems to be good, except Except for me. So, interact, medicine, vial of vinegar. We made a little bit of food. Say, ah! Well, my guy seems to be doing a little bit better. Me and Little Sim seem to be not doing so well. Um, I can't buy food. And I can't sell anything either at the moment. We may have to move on, because right now I just I don't have anything. With the plague left behind, your town remains normal. Uh... Positive even, though more Londoners arrive for the day. For now, you'd seem safe. Well, uh, we're going to go to this decent home. I can't. Okay. Okay, let's see. Plunder the rubbish. Uh, trade it for brooch. People seem to be interested. As long as we can eat again, perfect. And the day... As you lay down sleeping one evening, you can feel the ground beneath you shake. Unbelievably, you think it might be uh, it might be you gaining weight during all this chaos. Eat less. With some regret, you begin to cut back your portions of food. Uh, no more second breakfasts or elevensies. Well, there you go. Don't eat so much. Uh, though your stomach is in an endless protest with grumbling, you have managed to save some food this week. Maybe I was a bit porky. Market. Let's see. Leeches, 35. I can't afford any of that right now. I need to work harder make more money let's see end day end day gotta try to get money up interact you search for work and interact you search for work everybody go work end day all right roll servant milady sim uh nanny it pays four uh a short-term availability is open in the rich end of the town um, washwoman. Perks of the job include clean hands. I like that. Then she's not going to get sick. And then she can do something too. We're going to make her a servant. Is what started out a friendly neighborhood game of cricket between the children and the street turned into a major competition between the adults of the north and south side of the street. Uh... 
I got five on north. You struggle to find some willing to take the bet. Such a silly game. Finally, someone is willing to take your bet. You keep quiet, cheering, intentionally watch. I won. Woo! I won. Okay, let's go to the market. Buy another thing of food. Vial of mercury. You should not drink that. That is bad for you. Uh, resident seems to be comfortable. We got a few more days here. I need to get some medicine for Little Sim and me. I don't have anything that I can do right now. We seem to be doing okay. We're going down and stuff, but interact. Tend to family, quit. Uh, plus two. I don't know what's taking so much of my... I mean, I'm not making money anymore. Hmm. Probably because I'm buying food every day. Family and day. As you're passing by a shop, my lady tugs in your arm. When you look, she's pointing at a loot. She is uh, being probably displayed for 20. It's too expensive. You explain that such extravagance is impossible at this moment. You very reason with the explanation. Oh, sad face. Oh, people aren't eating. And they're getting very sick. Huh. Buy some, I can't buy some soap. What started as a wheezing cough quickly developed in a full blown fever. Now, singer, now Sim's fingers and toes are darkening. Ah. Uh, isolate them. As you start wheezing, coughing quickly down in a flow of fever, Sim feels no better. Well, Sim's gonna die. End day. Uh, home care is all you need. Sim is feeling better. Perfect. Okay. I need to get food. Market. Buy. End day. Oop, I clicked the button. And the game crashed. <laughs> Here we are back again. End day. No money. Even less money. Eat less. Woo! That may be a bit porky. End day. Why aren't people working? Gravedigger risk high. I don't have any money or any food. Interesting. And for some reason, it keeps saying that I have one, but I don't. Also, I don't know what's costing me so much money because everybody's working, right? A sim. Oh. 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 I see. I needed to set them all to work. Oh. I totally may have just, like, funked this whole thing. Uh, home care is all you need. Sim's feeling better. End day. Little Sim is in the mood for finally starting to dig into them. Uh, one thing led to another. Not enough. I practically got us out of London. No, it's not the one person is even grateful. That's little Signoma explode. Uh, I'm quitting my job. My lady Sim's low mood is finally starting to... Quitting with my style. Um... Home care is all you need. Sim is no better. Well, that's good. Oh, look, Sim's gonna die. That's wonderful. Um, market. Buy, buy, buy. End day. And I think I crashed my game again. Okay, guys. So, what ended up happening, what keeps happening, my game keeps crashing because my people die. And when your people die, your game crashes. I don't know why. Uh, the game is in development right now, so I'm assuming that's just kind of what was going to happen. But, that is all the time I left for this game. I officially killed off my character. But as you guys can see, there's all sorts of different things that you could go through and do. Uh, you could start new games. I want you guys to go ahead and try this game on your own and let me know what you guys think. Because, at the end of the day, I've done a couple stun things. Like, I could have gone over here told her to go sell valuables i could have had him go to work or had her cooking because if i come over here and tell her to cook and then i end the day again um i'm quitting my job that's quitting with style look seem to be attracted offers 18 pennies i have 14 41 pennies now and i could have gone to the market and uh Crushed emeralds. That doesn't sound like a good thing to eat. But see, I could have just went ahead and bought a bunch of food right there, went back to family, and started ending my day. Uh, the circus is for fools. My children's are fools too. Except 43 for the penny ring. Now I have all sorts of food. I could buy a vial of vinegar. 
and then buy some more food. So like I said, this game, I just went through, and to be honest, I was uh, doing things that I shouldn't have done, and I think what I ended up doing is getting my guy killed instead of doing it the way that you're supposed to. So, like I said, I went ahead and got my game to crash again there. So thank you guys all so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, make sure you guys hit that like button for me. Tell me you guys liked it. If you guys did, leave me a comment down below if you guys are planning on playing this game or if you guys think it's interesting and if you guys would like to see me play a little bit more. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.